everybody, welcome to Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be all about stocking stuffers. So Abby from Rooted and Rest and I are collaborating together again to bring you our favorite educational stocking stuffers. So what is so fantastic about us collaborating together is because between the two of us, we have pretty much all ages of kiddos covered from toddlers to tweens. I recently wrote a blog post with a hundred plus educational stocking stuffer ideas. So if you're looking for tons of stocking stuffers, make sure you click on the link in the description box because there's a ton there for you. Today though, I am going to do what I did with the educational toys, which you can see here if you missed it. And I'm going to show you my top 10 educational stocking stuffer ideas. The reason I'm showing you my top 10 is because like I said, that blog post is full of ideas. So you are not going to be lacking for ideas, but in case you want to know like, okay, what are your top must haves? This is going to be the video that's going to tell you that. My first stocking stuffer that I'm going to show you is probably my top favorite stocking stuffer ever. It's the one that's gotten the absolute most use and it is one that if you haven't done it, you should do it because it's affordable and it is really, really amazing. Honestly, I kind of wish I got one in my stocking as well. And it is the pocket microscope. These things are amazing. It's small. It fits in your pocket. Literally, it's perfect for a nature backpack. They have a light to help you be able to see what you have on it. It's removable. So you can either put something on the base to look at, or you can just pick this up and let's say, you know, put it on your skin. Like there's been many times that Emily's, you know, looked at the back of skin. It's just so perfect. It's really, really educational. It's affordable. I think you can get them normally for about $10. And I mean, it's like the perfect size for a stocking stuffer. So if you haven't done pocket microscopes for a stocking stuffer, stop this video, go add it to cart and then come right back. Next up is card games. You guys, all card games are small enough to fit in a stocking. This is kind of educational. It's more fun than educational and it is taco cat goat cheese pizza. It is hands down one of our favorite fun, silly, um, but also has some visual discrimination to it and reaction time games. But I have a ton of card games. In fact, I just wrote a blog post all about our favorite card games. So I will link that in the description box down below. If you are looking for maybe our top five, if you don't own them, I would say Uno, Phase 10, Blink, Set, and probably this one, Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. I also really love putting like a small little books and stockings. So whatever your kiddos are into word searches, Sudoku, I mean, um, crossword puzzles, you can get tons of different ones. I love Usborn for this because they have um, like this number puzzles and games, word puzzles and games. They also have uh, tons of like the little sticker dolly dressing books that are really, really fun or the my first sticker books. Those are all small enough to fit in a stocking. So those are great. And again, you can't be Usborn. I mean, the quality of them is just super awesome. Another one of my favorites that fits perfectly in a stocking and is something that you can give every single year because there's so much variety are the Safari LTD tubes. So this is basically just a long tube full of really great quality plastic figures. This is the up in the sky one because Emily and I and Kevin recently did um, aviation history and had a blast and I thought this would be a really fun addition. So this is actually going to be in her stocking this year. Um, but it's just a great thing. I mean, your kiddos in the dinosaurs, there's a dinosaur one. Farm animals, there's a farm animal one. Ocean animals, grab the ocean animals. Or maybe you're studying something specific in your homeschool, um, like ancient Egypt. There's an ancient Egypt one. I mean, literally look up Safari LTD tube, T-O-O-B, and whatever you want. And chances are there is going to be one to match whatever topic you want to put in your stocking. Along the same lines as the tubes are these small things of plus plus blocks. They come in tons of different options. This specific one is a plus plus block unicorn. 
So you get all of the blocks that you need to build that. And then in this little piece of paper, it tells you how um, the instructions are in it. And you can also go to their website for even more inspiration on how to use these plus plus blocks to build other things. They're really, really fun, like just little hashtag blocks. So they really are fun to build with. And again, unicorns, dragons, um, sea creatures. I mean, anything that you want, look up plus plus block and whatever your kiddo's into, and you will probably find one. And these are really, really thin and small. So it's perfect for just sticking down into that stocking. Another one of my favorites that I find myself buying every single year and just a different variation is the Aaron's thinking putty. So our favorites are the ones that are two colors and so they change colors as you're touching them and using them but these are just perfect they're perfect for if you have an anxious kiddo um, if you have a fidgety kiddo if you just need to give your kiddo something to do when you're out and about like this is the perfect little size to fit in my purse i mean it's literally smaller than the palm of my hand so it's perfect for on the go it's a great for read aloud time if i want to you know give her something to keep her hands busy and you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I will steal this and be like playing with it over and over and over again. It's perfect, the consistency is great. It doesn't really make a mess or crumble like a Play-Doh does. Um, it sticks together pretty well, it's, it's just fun. And then the fact that it changes colors when you touch it is that much more fun. Along the same lines as something that's kind of fidgety is this fidget ball. Now, technically this isn't something that I've bought over and over again because we just purchased this a few months ago, but we have all loved this so much that I'm actually going to be putting it in mine and Kevin's stocking as well this year because it is just so fun. It's perfect for fidgets when you're sitting, you know, on hold on the phone or you're just kind of bored or whatever. Um, there was people over recently for a Thanksgiving dinner and m multiple of the adults were like kind of fighting over it. It's so funny to me. It's fidgety. It's a Rubik's cube. So it's got some logic built in. You're just trying to move the pieces around to match the color. It's just super fun. If you have um, a fidgety kid, if you have somebody who loves logic, if you, you know, just need something to keep a kiddo busy, and because it's kind of, you know, the size of a baseball, fits in a stocking well, and also takes up kind of just the right amount of room. Another thing I really like putting in stockings are art supplies, and it's because it's something that Kevin's really into. He is super, super into art, which means Emily is super into art, and she loves getting her, like her own special art supplies. So one of the favorites that we have done is the watercolor pencils. We've also done things like charcoal pencils or erasable color pencils when she was younger, um, you know, erasable pens because she likes having those like mom, any kind of, you know, small art supply type thing or stationary like pens and pencils, pads of paper. Um, the paintbrushes that had the water reservoir, that was one that we did in stockings recently too. Any of those are fantastic stocking options because it's something that you can use again in your homeschool, but it's also something that's going to allow them to be creative and it's going to fit in the stocking. Next up, we have the wrap ups. You guys know that these are total favorites of ours. And much like everything else I have shown you, there are tons of different options. So there's addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division if you have a math-loving kiddo. Um, there's states and capitals if you have a geography-loving kiddo. There are some that's foreign languages, like Spanish, if you have a foreign language-loving kiddo. Or if you just need to be the mom who is like, hey, you need to work on your math facts, you know. There are tons of different options, though, and it's just a fun, hands-on way to uh, practice those math facts or those skills that need to be practiced um, and they also are really really great like everything else to throw in your purse take on the go do in the car and it fits in that stocking last is probably one of my absolute favorite stocking stuffers and that is a subscription specifically subscription letters fit really really well because well they're small like an envelope but if you wanted to give a subscription box, something a little bit larger, most subscription companies will do like a printable gift certificate so that you can stick something in there and say like, hey, your subscription starting in January, or you can just even type something up or print the picture of it and stick it in there. There's so many creative ways to do that. 
what I absolutely love the most about subscriptions is it's the gift that keeps on giving, right? So you're giving them something in December that they're going to be able to keep getting every month for the next three months or six months or a year. So it's just kind of one of those things that's not like more stuff in December, right? You're kind of like, oh, you're getting this starting in January because let's be honest, we all have enough stuff in December. So I absolutely love subscriptions for that. If you want to see some of our favorite subscriptions, you can do that here. I have tons of things where I go through all the different letter subscriptions and unboxing. So you can kind of get an idea of maybe what would be best for your kiddo by checking those videos out. Now I told you guys that a letter subscriptions were my absolute favorite and because they are my favorite, I am going to gift them to you. So one lucky winner will win a six a month subscription to both the Heritage Letter and the American Adventure. So you're going to be getting six months worth of both letters. To enter to win, you must be a subscriber, like this video, and leave a comment down below.